What's good everybody? Welcome back to this video and today we're going to talk about that iPhone 12 its touch screen is not working and also iPhone 12 touch is completely unresponsive which is a pretty annoying for a lot of users. We understand that even though a lot of people are having this problem quite a long time therefore in this video we're going to be talking about how you can fix this problem. So first of all, let's go ahead and see and try to understand why this problem is happening with your iPhone in particular. First of all, if your iPhone is physically damaged or if your touch is broken, you know, most likely your iPhone touchscreen will not be working. However, if you see your iPhone, you know, didn't have any damage or didn't fall off, then don't worry, we're about to show you the solution. So first things here, we're going to be telling you that to do it is highly, highly recommended for you to check if you see that your case, if you're using any case with your iPhone and the first things we're going to be telling you to do, make sure that your iPhone case is removed completely and afterward all you can do you need to change your screen protector okay so what happens actually a lot of people have solved their problem right after they remove their screen protector out of their iPhone 12. So if you're using any protector it can happen or maybe most likely your protector can have some problem go ahead and remove it and check whether it is working or not. Well, we're, we have, we're done with the basic things. Now we're going to go ahead and see, you know, show you some major things that you can do in order to fix this problem. Well, if you see that your iPhone 12 is completely unresponsive, it is not even working. The first things you need to do is to give a forced restart to fix your problem. Now to do that, obviously go ahead and press that volume up keys and down keys and quickly press and hold that power keys and keep holding it until you see that Apple logo appears on your iPhone 12. Well, as soon as you see that Apple logo appears on your iPhone 12, go ahead and release it and wait until see your iPhone is turned on. Okay guys, in the next process, we're going to talk about some other thing which is also important to know. Especially for those if you're having a little problem where you find your iPhone is working but sometimes your touch has a little bit of problem. If you're having this type of issues, then you can simply check whether is there a new upgrade available for your iPhone 12 or not. If you just go ahead and open your settings and if you scroll down, tap general and tap software update and then you'll be able to see if there are new update available on here or not. If you see latest update, then go ahead and update it and check whether your problem has solved or not. Even after doing this, if you're still facing this problem, don't worry, we have still two ways that you literally can use in order to fix this problem. And the next thing that you can do if, if you see your iPhone is, you know, not working sometimes, you simply can do a reset all settings on your iPhone 12 to fix this problem. And to do that, go ahead and open your setting once again. And now scroll down, tap general, scroll down again, tap reset. And here you'll be able to see this option called reset all settings. Go ahead and reset your settings. And hopefully that will fix your problem. Even after doing the reset all settings, if you're still facing this further problem, don't worry, right here you'll be able to see one more option called e-result content and settings. You also can try do or you also can try be doing e-result content and settings on your iPhone 12. Alright guys, so once you have just tap on the e-result settings and content, then now oh, before you go ahead and tap e-result, make sure that you're just updating your all of this file to the iCloud storage in terms of saving them. Okay guys, even after doing that, I mean even after doing this it was all content and settings on your iPhone 12, if you are still facing this problem in the last things we're going to talk about is recovery mode on your iPhone 12. Recovery mode is basically a way to solve any problem that comes on your iPhone 12 unless it is not that hardware related issues. So we got a video about that how you can just you know do the DFU mode on your iPhone 12 we will give you the link in the description below so that you guys can check it out very easily. Alright guys, these are the literal way that you guys can follow in order to solve your touchscreen problem on your iPhone 12. If you have solved your problem, congratulations to you. Or if you guys are still having problem, don't worry, let us know in the comment box. Hopefully we will help you in there. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video.